The thing that's really attractive about the pose is, of course, the fact that she's leaning back so far, and it's very, very dynamic. What we want to do here is to make sure that we pay as much attention to the sense of support. Where does it come from? Where does the strength come from in this pose? Instead of seeing the head and drawing it and then attaching it to the neck and then attaching the neck to the shoulders and sort of accumulating your drawing piece by piece, you are starting to see the figure as a whole system of pressures. You begin to um, be able to see relationships that are quite separated uh, spatially in the body that, that you can go, for instance, from a shoulder to a hip because you see certain relationships happening between those things. What you're going to do is to look at the pose and see where the big sweep of energy is. I'm drawing enough to register how I'm feeling about these different parts of the body, I'm not worrying that I get all the nuances right because I'm trying to keep myself kind of alive to the spirit of the, um, the pose. I like the sense of travel in this uh, pose from the head down to the foot, in terms of the strength, it depends so much on the support of this arm and her sitting on this little stool. So what clue can I find to express the sittingness of it? And for me, this long flattened curve of, of the thigh that reflects the support underneath that thigh. In other words, that the, the thigh is pushed up from the pressure below. Now I'm beginning to get that journey. I haven't drawn the foot yet, but it, it, I'm beginning to get the journey that angles up that hip through the torso and into the head. As I look at this shoulder, I, I'm trying to give it some sense of pressure upward. When I draw the hand, I really try to draw the pressure in it, you know, the fact that she is supporting herself by that, that hand. So in, in drawing it, I don't want to draw it sort of passively. I, I want to try to reach for the idea that the top of the hand has pressure in it and even in all of these muscles, kind of interweaving sense of muscularity, they're, they're working pretty hard. So you want to draw those curves with a sense of pressure. Think about pressure as you draw them. I'm going to take a shot at putting in the foot. The plane of the bottom of the foot is in a way where all of this stuff is leading. It stops at that plane. So judging these distances here is easier in my mind to take the, the bottom of the foot and the heel and use it as um, a destination for the drawing that goes on in between those two points. It was easier for me to look at the bottom of the, of the plane of that foot as um, a destination for that bottom of the leg, rather than to keep joining up and joining up and just measuring that. That this um, optically was easier to see and also easier to think about because what I'm thinking about as I'm looking at that is that it's the end point. What I'm hoping to open you up to is a really much more energetic way of seeing the figure, of seeing that it is a cooperative system in which 
all of the parts of the figure uh, join together and work together in order to accomplish any kind of movement or even just stability that um, you're looking at. 